So, with this fight, Joe Smith is likely going to fight the winner or should fight the winner. But if it was Jesse Hart, Jesse Hart was going to definitely fight the winner. Elliot Alvarez, remember he had beat Sergey Kovalev. Kovalev came back and beat him. Uh, went on to fight Canelo, Anthony Yard, then Canelo Alvarez. So now he's back after an injury. Him and Jesse Hart was supposed to fight last year. and But now we're here. Um, he's fighting one week apart from when Jesse Hart lost to uh, Joe Smith, a common man. That was fucked up. Joe, yo, how can you say it? You know, how can you not say it? Jesse Hart got fucked up. Like, and we watching that shit ringside. And this is the first time I've ever been ringside. And that fucking, I don't like, you know what? I don't see how they do it when you be ringside and, and sweat and spit. Be You know when you see a fighter get hit and that shit fly? And that shit hit somebody. You know, when they be in the corner spitting in the bucket and all that shit, that shit be splashing all on ill. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, man. And I know you're probably going to say, oh, he ain't never been in a fight before. No, 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 I'm just a little germaphobe, especially as I've gotten older, man. You know. No, that shit be splashing. But anyway, that shit hit me, man. Like, Jesse Hart had caught this mean ass right here. And I'm standing there. Like, I'm standing up away from. I should have never left the fucking media table. I'm standing up, like, just looking, you know, making my little rounds and shit. He get hit in the corner. Wham, that shit go. And I'm like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Huh. You know? Storm, Storm Alvarez, Alvarez is taking he's on Michael Cannonhan Seals. You know me. Oh shit, I remember this. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, 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 alright. Obviously I'm gonna be covering this fight, and I'm not gonna be able to watch it on this fight is actually gonna be Seal. Alita Alvarez versus um, uh, Michael Seals at 175 pounds, top rank on regular ESPN. This is going to be. <laughs> this I remember this fight now. This is going to be on, at the same time as J Rock versus Rosario. Fuck, why I keep saying yeah, J Rock versus Rosario. So obviously, I'm going to be catching this on replay on Sunday. And covering this, but wow, let's go back. Let's recap. All right, we're off to a good start here. We're going to stay on the East Coast, Coast January, January 18th, live from Turning Stone Resort in Verona. Former world champ, a later Storm Alvarez. He's taking on Michael Cannonhan Seals. You know me. I don't have boring fights. <laughs> You see the baby looking like, oh, shit. <laughs> look, look at the baby looking. I don't, I don't have, have boring, boring fights. <laughs> so, so those fights are always going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to January 18th. Esta pelea significa mucho para mí eh, porque siento nuevamente hambre. Hambre de, de ser campeón. Elir is a, a hell of a fighter. Hell of a fighter. When he won the world title, I teared up too because I, I know that feeling. And I'm, I've, been, I've been trying to like chased that title for a while and so when he won the world title I was happy for him just like it was myself but on January 18th I got to take care of business y tengo que dar lo mejor de mí eh, como el, el, el año anterior eh, para volver a ser campeón del mundo que, que es lo que quiero nuevamente his dream came true it's time for mine to come true I'm looking forward to it man my hand my palms are sweating right now man I'm so like amped for this fight man like this is I'm pulling up um, the card information. I'm going to let this little second, 44-second um, um, clip play. I'll be right back. It's the fight of my fight life. Of my I, life. Don't I don't know, know what it is. Him. Maybe it's just another fight for him, but this is like the biggest fight of my life. We're going to stay on the East Coast January. Seals, 
who was quiet doing nothing, drops Brooker and ends the fight suddenly in round two. That shit do look like it give you a big ass headache. Oh, y'all want to know some inside information? Remember, I remember I got another channel, um, another channel that's officially partnered and monetized now. I'm doing a review on the Aaron Hernandez shit with highlights of like clips and everything. Crazy. You know, so it's one of my first ever edited videos. It's not a um, it's not like this. It's a, it's crazy. It's crazy. So that's why I'm going to keep my ass in the house. Like I've like I said, I've made some upgrades to my um, all my nerd shit and um, like shit's 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 advancing, man. So it's it's at the beginning of the year. You know, I want to make some fucking I got to make some fucking money. And it's tax season. I got to do my taxes. Like, for real, for real. You know? Yeah, some compelling ass shit. You know, I heard he was gay, but it's like some crazy ass shit. But anyway, let's talk about some, some boxing. So, here's the card. I got to be honest with you. This card is better than last week's card. You know, I wish this card was in AC. But, you know, Jesse Hart, you know. But Elliot Alvarez versus Michael Seals. Elliot Alvarez, former WBO 175-pound champion. You know? Michael Seals, 24 and 2 with 18 KOs, 37 years old. What fight? I think I covered this Edwin Rodriguez fight. What card was this? Was this regular PBC on FS1 before it became? No, Spike TV. Yeah, I covered this shit. Remember PBC on Spike? Remember that shit? So Iris Lindy Lara destroyed it. So here is this card. You got Elliot Alvarez versus Michael Seals. You have Felix, Felix Verdejo, who is everything that Teofimo Lopez. Well, he, Teofimo Lopez, is what Verdejo was supposed to be. Crazy, right? He's returning. You got Christopher Diaz returning. Already, those three those three fights right there. Well, fighters, not fights, you know, um, I'm interested in more than the last week card. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. It's like all his whole face is in the middle of his face. So I'm cool with that. Let me pull up the rankings. By the way, I update these rankings monthly. Fightview360.com. The link is right down below in the description box. And I make sure I color code all that shit for you, too. I make sure I be color coding that shit. Here's a 175 pound vision. You got Archibald BF who will be keeping his IBF title. He will be defending his WBC and IBF um, titles against Mang, Ming Fang, Ming Fan Long. Should we go watch some tape? Not yet. I ain't gonna watch no tape yet. I do gotta watch some tape soon. He look old. I just watched Parasite too. Good movie, man. If you um take your time and sit down to watch it with the subtitles. He look old. How old is this man for real? And you know, Japanese people be looking young. No, oh, Chinese people, no disrespect. Asian people, how about that? His name is Fan Long Cold Blood Man. <laughs> I can't wait. He gonna fuck Bertie B.F. up. Bertie B.F., you finished. I wanna watch some tape so bad. All right, let's go watch a little bit of tape. And get some tape. Versus Daniel Judah. Oh, shit. I was watching some Journeyman Boxing Network. Uh, that's a great name. Journeyman. Okay. Watch some tape of Ming Fan Long. This is who Bert to is defending his WBC and IBF titles against in Canada. Venue soon to be announced, likely Montreal. Um, in March or April? Oh, that's it. Oh, shit. Oh, that's it. That's, that, what? That's it. Or to be a he's finished. That's it. Look at this style of speed. Look at that speed. It's so elusive. Yeah, that's it. Well, anyway, that's who Bert to is fighting. 
Canelo has vacated his WBO title. And we don't know what's going to happen because that's that rumor circulating that Gilberto Ramirez is trying to get out of top rank contract to go where? And who would he fight when, when top rank and top rank even has access to Bevo? So, you know, and even the top contenders are with top rank. Like, where would he go? Because, you know, Gilberto Ramirez should be ordered to fight Umar Salomov if Umar Salomov doesn't fight the winner of Joe Smith and Eliade Alvarez and uh, Michael Seals. So where is he going to go? By the way, Al Heyman is doing his best to get that belt back on one of his main guys. Jean Pascal is going to be fighting Marcus Brown again. As Marcus Brown has um, um, invoked his rematch clause to fight Jean Pascal after Jean Pascal beat uh, Badu Jack. Badu the draw, Jack. Or what can you call Badu Jack that's related to him not getting a clear decision? Badu, Badu what? Hey, you better watch it. Get that hat out of here. You get, get back here. I've been looking for you. So, yeah, moving on.